It's a lazy Sunday afternoon. It is. But I've done some shopping. But it's not wax melts. <laughs> You'll be shocked to learn. <laughs> I've got a table. So I've gone to the world of home furnishings. Got this little bad boy in Argos. Wanted a, a side table. And now we're really looking at them as to possibly get another couple to be bedside yeah. tables as well, aren't we? We've tried it, haven't we? So and they look yes, really good. Pretty sturdy. The, the legs um, screwed in, so we yep. didn't have to get any equipment out, and that comes off, and you're left with a little bit of the storage yeah. in there. A little bit, it's quite that a bit. Be... <laughs> Maybe more wax nuts might go in there. And it's got little, like, little teeny studs you... on there, so that... And you got a little tray as well. Pretty um, sturdy. And it's also had little sticky pads. Yeah, so if you've got wooden floor, it's non-slip. Yeah. So, yeah, I wouldn't know really pleased with that. That was £50. And the bedside cabinets I was looking at in Ikea were £80. Yes. So It's very Ikea-like, isn't it? Yes, and it's called, the design, if anyone's interested, is called Scandi. S-K-A-N-D-I. So, uh, very um, Ikea-esque. Yes, yes Scandi. Yeah, we're really pleased with that. So, yes, for once, not a wax melt. You're a melt. Hello lovely people, it's time for a little unboxing, although I've already taken it out of the packet. Um, you never guess what it is. Yes, it's yet more wax melts. Yes, I have become slightly obsessed, um, especially with my new found favourite company, Scent Sorcerer on Etsy. So let's see what I got this time. I am getting through it, I do use wax melts every day. I would just like to um, put a disclaimer out there. So I am using them every day, so I am getting through. A fair few. That's my excuse anyway. Look, it's so pretty. So this time I ordered their new inspiration box. So this is a box with lots of different wax melts in. Um, so this is going to be a really handy little box, but it looks like I've got a little, little freebie. This is very cool. So I'm going to open that up in a minute. It's very, very kind of people. Right, okay. I have been giving them lots of shout outs on Instagram. I just really like the melts and the, the fragrance is really long lasting. Yeah. I have found with some companies that the smell is great for about the first couple of hours and then sort of dissipates to nothing pretty quick. But these definitely have. Oh, look at that. How do you find that? Come on, let's find out. Ah, so we've got. These are grape soda. That's really nice. That's the Cookie Num Num. I've had these two before, they're lovely. Um, this I'm assuming is, no hang on, that's Cookie Num Num. That's Mousekeeping and that's Briar Patch. So yeah, well this is a very handy little box. Right, and what was my little packet? Okay, so I've been thinking of my left hand when I'm not left handed. Yes. Makes a great vlog feeling, doesn't it? Hang on, oh, oh there we go. Oh, let's have a sniff of that. What's that one? It's called Horseman's Head. I think it must be their pumpkin spice one. Yay! I can confirm it's a pumpkin spicy flavour, this one, and it smells. It smells really good. I'm not a fan of pumpkin spice lattes to drink, but all oh, that smells really, really nice. And I have to say, the mousekeeping melt, this is this little sort of ivory coloured one, that smells like clean linen and fresh washing and oh, that's really lovely. I'm obsessed with smells. Good smells, clearly, not bad smells. And Briar Patch smells of sweets. It's all like fruity and and sweety and oh. God, why haven't I tried Briar Patch before? It's really lovely. Scent Sorcerer on Etsy. People get over on there and order some melts because for the winter and us all being stuck at home a lot now. Oh, just make your house smell fab. Good day here at Broadway Towers. Well, it kind of isn't, kind of isn't. Yeah. I'm a bit narked because I've missed out on a promotion from lego.com on day one. Lego, what are you playing at? And that was, what, three o'clock in the afternoon? Yeah. Everything had gone by. The, the free gift that you got, which was an exclusive, gone. All gone. 
when I went online this morning at six, half six, it still wasn't available, so they hadn't made the offer open then. So, so I'm a bit narked. Just a whisker. Yes. And we ordered two new bedside tables from Argos. Got the text today saying you can collect them. So I text Pete and said, on your way home from work, can you go and grab them? One of them was there. Not yeah. two of them, just one of them. The other one's going to be available in a couple of days. What's that about? So we've got one new bedside table at the moment. Anyway. I did get my package from Scent Sorcerer that you will have just seen, so that made me happy. But, yeah. And we've got no chocolate in the house, so... Or beer. Or tonic. <laughs> we've got gin. Neat gin. Looks like that's the way to go today. Yeah. So we're a bit blur today, aren't we? Anyway, I'm going to cheer myself up and unbox some Lego. Here we go again. Happy face. Happy face. Is that the face that we're going to get to Disney in 10 weeks' time? <laughs> That's not going to happen either, is it? <laughs> but. Anyway. So I did an order the other day. Da, 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 da. Oh, disappearing behind mounds of cardboard. At least it's all recycled. Oh my god. That's some air pillows. Oh, for goodness sake. Some more air pillows. Seriously. Oh, we see. So, oh, that's tiny. Anyway. Star Wars Advent Calendar. Do, do, do. All ready for Vlogmas. They are good in sort of. 80% of the days, some of the days they uh, put some real rubbish in there. Oh yeah, last year, we, some of them we didn't even yeah. know what they were, did we? They were very strange. But Go back and watch our Vlogmas, everyone, if you're not sure. two guys in Christmas jumpers, which I'm dead excited about. I quite like Darth Vader. And is, yeah. is um, Porg has got a little outfit on by the looks of it. Oh, has he? Oh yeah. Anyway, so that's that. Yay. All about the advent calendars. Freebie? Silly little monkey kid potty bag. That's silly. That's probably going to give away. And the pièce de résistance. The razor crest from the Mandalorian. So it's the Mandalorian ship. Yep. Is that right? It says the razor crest, but they've changed it on the website to the Mand Mandalorian bounty hunter transport or something. Hang on, let's look at the minifigs. So we've got. So a... I've got the child. <laughs> Or and Baby Yoda, the Mando, Greek Karga, Grief Karga. That's the um, man played with Carl Weathers. IG-11. Oh, he's all right. I like him. I am now a nurse. Scout Trooper. Cool. Oh, I, I watched it this morning and in the final episode um, of The Mandalorian... I looked at the cast list, the very one that quickly flashes by, and one of the scout troopers that IG-11 killed yes. to get the child back was Jason Sudeikis. Oh! And he's been in many yeah. a Hollywood film, hasn't he? Yeah. So he's he, been a he cheeky was... little cameo, was he? <laughs> yeah, he was in uh, Last Man on Earth, wasn't he? As um, Oh, yes, of course. As Tandy's brother. Yes. Yeah, so he was one of the scout troopers. Ah. There, that's some trivia for you. If ever that comes up a millionaire, you yeah. know. Yeah, so... So where's this one going to go then, Mr B? With all the rest. <laughs> Pete's just got home with the shopping and we needed a leak for this week's yeah, Joe we're Wick's pie. Yeah, we're, we're making doing. a small knocky bake. Chicken and knocky bake pie. And we needed one leak. One leak. So I ordered a leak. Look at that. Look, are you going to eat it or play it? It's like an Look arrow. the size of it. That's quite small. That and, um... Tesco's were not going to do plastic yes. bags and everything, but now because coronavirus cases are rising again, our shopping came That's in these bag. enormous bags. So it's plastic but, fantastic yet again. That's how they dumped it in my car. Like so that. we won't have coronavirus, but the planet will be dead. <laughs> it's true. Good morning, everyone. So it's Monday the 21st of September. It's five o'clock in the morning. Pippa's fast asleep, and uh, I'm going to put the dinner on. Yes, yeah, so if you haven't got one, invest in a slow cooker. 
So I prepped all the veg and stuff yesterday. Boring. But it's all worth it in the end because it feeds us for a couple of days. So I'll show you that now. Well, that's a handy thing, isn't it? <laughs> so here we go. It's been in the fridge all night. There's a beef casserole. Let's take the lid off. All prepped. Got a sachet of uh, beef casserole in there. Some bay leaves. New potatoes and all those usual suspects. Carrots, parsnips, etc. So by five o'clock this evening, ten hours time, that'll be uh, delicious. Is it on? Yes. There we go. Turn it on to hide. So I'm going to buy some dumplings later and pop them in. And what I'll do is I'll show you the finished, the finished stew later. We've had this for a couple of years, this Daiwu. Very good. And now with us here, we can make a lot more of this sort of stuff. Yum, 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 yum. Paper rant. <laughs> what? Do you want me to say that all again? No. <laughs> Pippa's ranting. Pippa's having mayonnaise on bread for lunch. I am. That's disgusting. Bite me. Anyway. So this is how the casserole looks at precisely two o'clock. Something like that. No, three o'clock. I don't know what bloody time is. Twenty to three. There you go. I'll turn it down actually. I'll turn it back up again. So that'll be nicely... Nicely softened for later when I put the uh, dumplings in, which Mrs. B has kindly got from the shop. Disclaimer, best mayonnaise ever. Just saying. <laughs> so we'll show you later with the dumplings in. Mm -mm -mm. So we've both been good and done a workout again. Sweaty. What are you doing, some sort of tableau? Yes. Welcome to Cooking with Pete. A not so regular show. <laughs> I need to do ice cream bread again. So, cheaty dumplings, they're going in. Yep. Hearty nice dumplings, though. hearty. Hearty, horror. It's eight star dumplings, for some reason. Okay. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Bubbling. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Does look yummy, doesn't it? Healthy, healthy. Put in the dumplings, put in the dumplings. We like to have them sort of half and half, don't we? Those two are stuck together. It's a dumpling bottom. Yes, because this will be tomorrow's dinner as well, yeah. won't it? This will do us two nights. Here's a Mickey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bit rubbish, but never mind. And there is. Since we can't friggin' well go to Disney. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They were correct. There's eight dumplings. Excellent. And how long do you put them in? How long are they? They will be in for? for about an hour, just over an hour. Awesome. So the top just is doughy, but the bottom soaks up the juice. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, yum, yum. And as if by magic. Well, you're a bit close. Uh. <laughs> Ta da! Drum roll, please. <laughs> Here we go. Give me, give me a look. I've got the sensible small bowl. Pete's got the enormous bowl. I'm hungry. Just saying. I'm a grown man. <laughs> or a grown man. Hey, my love. Stop it. What? Not that kind of channel. There you go. Dumplings. Can Cook. I just look at it? Dish it up. I'm oh, just admiring my beauty. Oh. See what I have to put up with, all this... Really? All this aggro. Don't want a bay leaf, do you, my love? No, thank you. Might be a bit chewy. Still bubbling away. Getting my five a day today. Yep. There you go. Lovely. Thank you very much. I can always come back for more. Yes. 
So I'm just gonna swap them. The dumplings are capsizing, going for a no. swim. Two dumplings each for tomorrow. Yes. Do me. Lovely jubbly. And the nice, the nice thing with these shoes is you can put in whatever meat you like and whatever veggies that you like. So yeah, you can, you can customise. And this isn't any particular recipe, is it? This is just, no, this is just us chucking stuff in. Just oh, and a, a packet casserole yeah, powder a mix, a saucy thing. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. There she is. It wouldn't be a full ways away home vlog. If there wasn't some wax melts going on now, would there? No, I'm here. But first, top tip. We had a restaurant card. One of these things. I don't know if I can come in a bit closer. Yeah. One of these things. And uh, we were going to spend it during lockdown. Uh, sorry, not during lockdown. During Eat Out to Help Out in August. And I looked up on the website and it turned out it expired in May during lockdown. I took a chance and I rang their customer service number and they've actually sent me a replacement that is valid for another year. Yes. So it is really worth phoning up those little numbers on the back of the car. Yeah. Because now we've got the voucher back and we can use it now the restaurant's back open. 20 quid a free grub. So yeah, top tip. Right. <laughs> bard rights. We love bard rights. Hello Liam, Mitch, Donna and Joe. The lovely <laughs> Disney vloggers that run bard rights. Is that one person? Yes. <laughs> The image on the Jane. That's one person. Right. I've got a shipment this time. A whatment? Blimey. Gonna keep me going. No. I don't and yes, I need to stop with the buying, but... I know. don't buy as much Lego as that. Let's not go there, Mr. Broadway. These are all there, or oh, no, some of their new autumn and Halloween range. So I couldn't resist. And I needed to have something a bit different because I normally go for the fruity, sweet smells, don't I? So we've got. Yes. Okay. How many have you got? Six. Six. So I've got trick or treat. Okay. I'm that's... not going to make you smell all of them, my love. That's pumpkin y. Uh, Do I have to smell them? You don't have to. If I get into it. <laughs> oh, God. I fumble fingers there. there oh, no, that's more caramel. Oh. I say sweet ones. I bought a sweet one. Um, poison apple. I can't find the sweet one. I'm going to take back what I just said. So, yes, we've got poison apple. Okay. Bardwright's Melting Co. Co. UK. And Hayley from The Princess Adventures is about to be very proud of me because I bought Spiced Pumpkin. And she is the pumpkin queen. That's a bit rude, isn't it? Ghost Toast. That one does smell like Spiced Pumpkin. Who are you going to call? Ghost Toast. Oh, God. There we go. Oh, that's a... Spooky? Yeah, that's... Oh, I can't describe it. It's probably on the website. I like it, though. The trouble with that smell, it'd disappear. <laughs> what? You wait till Vlogmas, people, and Pete's dad jokes. Then what we got? Witchcraft. It's going to keep me going for the whole month of October and beyond, I think. Witchcraft, that'd be a bit Blair Witchcraft. <laughs> oh, again. Can't put my finger on these smells. But they're lovely. They're very, very evocative of autumn and Halloween and whatnot, which I guess is the point. And then the one that I couldn't resist, and I got to the point where I didn't care what it smelled of because it's got such a cool name. It's called... Books and blankets. Mm. Who doesn't love a book and a blanket? And uh, an elephant? Oh, it's got sort of almost a weird old parchment smell to it. 
Yeah, I like that as well. I've never met a Bardwrights melt I don't like. Mrs B's happy. I'm going to zoom in on that walker behind your head now. Look at that, Star Wars. Mrs B, Star Wars. Well, when you know things are sent to try you. Lady next door's having her kitchen done. There's been having it done for a few weeks now, so goodness knows who's doing it. But now there's a van across the driveway. Oh, look, there's a man. There's a man. Why park across someone else's driveway? I'm so cross that I've come home and it's like that, and Pete is literally going to go insane when he gets home. So we'll see what his reaction is soon. Right, so I've just played Pete my rants, and he's now <laughs> laughing at them. Oh, I just beat my horn until they uh, they came out. But we now have fan moved. Pete's car's on the driveway, and he's moved my car and just sit behind the bush, the red one there. So yeah, now I, I, I was just too polite. Well, not polite. I just needed to rant, and I've made the girls laugh, if nothing else. Hello. Hello. It's a lazy Saturday morning. Yeah. In the Broadway Towers household, and yeah. you never guess what I've got. Let me guess. Um, wax melts. Yeah. <laughs> From Scent Sorcerer again, because they released a new one. So I'd be rude not to. But um, I am going to rein it in now, because now I've got to start thinking about Christmas presents and stuff like that. And I have got enough wax melts probably to see me through about five lockdowns. Ooh, what we got? Ooh, ow. Right, so I ordered their new Beauty and the Beast range. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast wax melts. Beauty and the Beast. Yes. Yes. <laughs> okay then. I can sing better than her. So we've got the bell ones. I'll give them a whiff in a minute. Bell. And then you've got the Beast ones. Do they smell of wet fur? Oh. oh okay. So. And something else here. Did I order? Something else? Oh yes, I ordered some coconut ones. I'm gonna say, well, I'll forget what I order. Okay. I think these are smell test. Oh, they're pretty. I think they're meant to be a dupe of a perfume, but I'm blown if I know which perfume it is. That's really nice. It's a really pretty light floral scent, not overpowering. Okay. Very bell. I could see bell wearing that. And then Beast, yes, probably wet fur. The smell of bell. <laughs> okay then. And we're in the conservatory for a change of scene, aren't we? Yes. Oh, well, that's definitely more of a manly smell. Bell. I think that's meant to be an aftershave dupe, and again, I couldn't tell you which one. That's nice though, again, it's not too overpowering. Is it beastly? Yeah. That's not, no, it's nice, I like it. Uh, but the conservatory at the moment, as it is, a bit bare, yes. it, um, it will be changed into a grotto very soon. Oh yes. Um, they, sorry, coming back to the wax mats, they've also got on their site um, sort of testers that they made, but they weren't completely happy with for selling on the website permanently. So you can buy them for a knockdown price. So there were some coconut ones, and I love anything coconut. Oh, that's good. Oh. My favourite perfume is Body Shop Coconut. I've got quite simple tastes, really. But, oh, yeah. Yeah, you like the um, moisturiser and stuff like that as well. It's because whenever I wear it, people always say, oh, Vicky, you smell of holidays and suntan cream and lovely things like that. So, yes, yet more for the collection. So another massive shout out to Amanda at Diz Tea World. She has done it again with this time an Animal Kingdom design. It's really nice. The I detail love is amazing. It. The detailing on the hold it still. I do that. No. <laughs> Excellent. It's absolutely incredible, and I'm very pleased to say I actually did visit Animal Kingdom in its opening year. So, and conversely, that's your son's date of birth, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, so there's something for you to remember him by. <laughs> Lovely. And then I did a custom for Pete, which was a bit of a surprise. I was Yay. going to save it for Christmas, but I gave it to him today anyway. And she's done him a... Yes, Boba Fett. Great detail in that as well. 
It's all stitched as well. So if it? you ever want something from Amanda that's not on her website, or just give her a shout, and she's more than happy to to do a custom order. So Love thank it. you, Amanda. <laughs> <laughs> Lego! More Lego! Lego. Yeah. <laughs> Jinx. Not, not Star Wars this time though. No it's not is it? So I got this yesterday. Massively battered box. Mm. Look at that. DPD. I did like them at the beginning but now not so much. Oh my Disney World jumpers were lobbed over the back gate. I forgot to tell you. Oh they? Yeah thanks Hermes. Hermes. <laughs> What's in the box, you say? What is in the box? First of all, it's a brickhead of Frankenstein. Very Halloween. Yes, brickhead 111. Should be 666, shouldn't it? Why? That's the devil. Yeah, Halloween? Oh, I don't know. Cool, though. Universal Monsters, apparently. Oh, so OK. Maybe they're bringing out a new set. Oh, yeah. In honour of like Universal Monsters. Bride of, Frank uh, Bride of Dracula and all that sort of thing. Wolfman. Is that one? Yeah. Oh, you don't know. Sit there, Frankie. Frankie Stein. And I've been after this set for ages. It's, it's kind of universal as well, isn't it? Yes, we've got a bit of a theme going on here, haven't yeah, we? Minions. Banana! Yeah. Banana! Banana! So, I like them because they're kind of brickhead shaped. Yes. Yeah. They're quite fun, actually. Are they going to be a bit bigger than the brickheads? A bit taller, I think. Okay. Oh, look, you open up the back of them and you can literally, there's a lot of... Um, oh, amazing. Oh, that's going to be fun. storage areas for little... Um, that's going to be fun. Got little minion minifigures as well. <laughs> so, in this box is Bob, Stuart and Kevin. <laughs> Their names are great, aren't they? So funny. They're the, uh, the original three, aren't they? Yeah. What like the box? Awesome. So that's that box. Oh, okay, right. Oh, well, the Lego was pretty undamaged then. Yeah, the box right. was battered, but. Thank goodness for that. I'm not sure why. Peter B. That's because this was at work, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so, as it's nearly Christmas. It's well, a really big box of what's inside. You've got to start thinking about the Christmas display, haven't you? Yes. It's just nearly <laughs> as big as you. It's taking up the entire screen. Yeah. Hello, I'm here. <laughs> it's the Elf Clubhouse. Really heavy, actually. So this is the new one for this year? Yeah, the creator always do a Christmas scene. I want to get the, the oh. light sort of reflection on the box. Is that better? No, worse. That better? That's better. Just so we can see the detail. Like so the I've got, um, got a few of these now. Oh, I like Mr. Reindeer. Yeah. Fire station. Amongst others. And they're sleeping bunk beds. And you flip a switch and they all fall out. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Yeah, it's quite so good. Our Christmas good. display is swiftly turning into a Christmas Lego display, is it not? Mm -hmm. Yeah, a little bit. You'll be getting a few more bits. Yeah, you've got your eyes that. on bits, haven't you? Yeah. And that was that. So, pleased with that. And wasn't Star Wars. For once. Hola. It's Friday. We're having a treat. We haven't had one for so long. No, nope, <laughs> we're getting a takeaway. Well, we've got the takeaway. It's been delivered. Yeah. Sounds a bit dull, but we, I think you can count on one hand the amount of takeaways we yeah. get a year. So this is an event for us. So we've gone for a curry and we're going to take you along. Oh. There we go. Mr. India. Fantastic takeaway locally. Brilliant. Mm. Come on, I'm hungry. Seriously. Get those poppadoms open. But we didn't buy the poppadoms at the takeaway. We've got the cheap no. ones. Yeah, but they're greasy from the um, takeaway. Yeah, they can they? be, can't they? Love a pop -dom. Oh, seriously, that decides not to come off when you film it. <laughs> Honestly. You're rubbish. What's in here? Mmm. How's your chicken still on there? Mine. 
over here. So what we got? Chicken tikka biryani. Chicken salon. No, that's, that's chicken, chicken salon. salon. Even. That's a chicken korma. That's a Bombay alu, so it's potatoes basically. And a vegetable curry. Yeah, upside down one. We love it. And I am having a beer. Oh, I can't have one. Because Why can't I have one? Because you're on antibiotics because you've got a poorly tooth. So unfair. I want a Modelo. And so I'm opening it with a Mickey opener. Got to add a bit of Disney, haven't we? Always. Right, let's open these and show them what's in there. I'm doing it for the gram, darling. Right, so la la. So that's a chicken korma. Chicken salon, hot. Yes. Mrs. B likes it hot. Get it from my dad. That's why she married me. Oi. Bombay Alu. Vegetable curry. And I love a biryani. Chicken and the poppadoms. I didn't pop -doms. start them. And all I can say is, let's get eating. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. B. What you got? We won a prize. Yes, we the fabulous Dougie. Did Lovely. a giveaway on Twitter, autograms. And we. On YouTube. We won a prize. It's a very rainy afternoon here in Sussex. Mr. B's just been to the dentist for the umpteenth time. Yeah. He's got he, a poly tooth. Just being drilled. Are you going to get in there? It's well wrapped. It's really well wrapped. I'm just going to, yeah. <laughs> oh, my days. Oh, good grief above. It's almost like plastic, that, isn't it? Seriously. <laughs> Stay tuned, folks. It's riveting vlogging, isn't it? Just going to. Hold all calls. Hooray! We have to find somewhere to put this, don't we? Yeah. Does it go outside? I don't know. It'd be nice to have it outside on the garage or something. Mm. Oh wow, it is very nice. Man, oh man. Well, at least we know it's not been damaged. Wow, it's lovely. There we go. Here you leave today and enter the world of yesterday, tomorrow and fantasy. I'm sure we all know that hangs above the uh, entrance to the Magic Kingdom as you get underneath the train station. So that is definitely going to have pride of place somewhere. I think it's an indoor one, my love, because it's got a, oh, okay. a thingy on the back. Awesome. I guess you can maybe, nah, let's keep it indoors. So yes, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.